Hi, I'm Chef Steve. Welcome to the Care Kitchen. This program is brought to you by Comfort Care and at Your Side. Comfort Care and at Your Side provides personal care for people throughout the United States and Canada. I'm here every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern with the Care Kitchen program where we cook with kindness and the main ingredient is kindness. And we feature recipes from the Care Kitchen cookbook, as well as just being inventive and having some fun and thinking about cooking as a meaningful activity for someone in your care, and especially concentrating on nutrition and menu planning and all types of food that are designed for older adults to bring proper nutrition, even though sometimes appetites are diminished and there are some health care changes that need to be addressed and all kinds of issues that we address with a wonderful diet that really helps you to feel better and help you to live longer and have more fun while you're doing it. And that's what it's all about at the end of the day, just having some great fun. Well, today's program is going to feature a great vegetarian soup, and it's called Vegetarian Cooking Today. And I, I just kind of wanted to um, sort of do an overview of, you know, we talk about all kinds of things today in various types of diets, and we talk about vegetarian. Vegetarian, what does that actually mean? And people do all types of things with vegetarian diets, and of course there's vegan diets. So a vegan diet is probably, in a way, the most extreme vegetarian diet because it only is anything that's plant-based and does not contain any dairy products like cheese or eggs or things of that nature. Now, some people who call themselves vegetarians eat cheese. You know, they'll eat dairy products. Other people will incorporate eggs into their diets. So, you know, it really can sort of be whatever you like. And it's really comes down to, you know, your reasoning for doing it. Now, some people are, uh, you know, don't want to eat any type of animal product, you know, then they may have a certain feeling about it. Now, other people may be doing it for a particular health reason. They may have to avoid certain things. So it really kind of depends on why the person's doing it. But at the end of the day, whatever diet you're on, especially as we age, we need to really make sure that we're getting enough protein in the diet. So there are various things that we can do if we are in a vegetarian, uh, having a vegetarian diet and eating only veg vegetable plant based products. What you can do is incorporate high protein things like beans. And today's uh, today's recipe, in fact, it's a, it's a soup. It's made with sweet potatoes, carrots, onion, ginger and red lentils. So in this case, the red lentils would be providing a lot of the protein to make sure that we get enough protein in the diet, which is a challenge for people as they age. As I said before, appetites diminish. We may have to make sure that whatever we're eating is nutrient dense. It's full of those great vitamins and minerals and all the things that we need. So we can accomplish this with a vegetarian diet by incorporating things like beans, legumes. We can also do it through things like tofu, and we can also do it through uh, things like textured vegetable protein. These are things that can be added that simulate meat and also lots of vegetables that have higher protein and also other many other great qualities, nutritional qualities like broccoli and spinach. And the list goes on. So it's very interesting. So, you know, I, I would really be curious to see what type of vegetarian you are. If you have a, veg, a vegetarian diet, what is incorporated into it? How do you get enough protein in your diet? Please feel free to share that. We'd love to hear it. And any questions that, that you may have always. And, you know, if you miss our program here uh, on Facebook, um, we are on YouTube, the Comfort Care at Your Side YouTube channel features all of the Care Kitchen videos for you so you can look at all of them, whatever you like, whatever interests you. So let's get cooking today. We're going to make this great soup. This is, a, this is a featured recipe in the Care Kitchen cookbook. This is a sweet potato, onion, carrot, red lentil, and ginger soup. 
It's all vegetarian, and we're going to get started on it now. Okay, so I've got all my ingredients here. Got my pot ready to go. I'm going to put some olive oil in my pot. First of all, okay, got the, got the olive oil in there. And we're going to just put that on, get that pan heating up just a little bit. I've got two sweet potatoes here, which I've peeled and cut up in cubes. I've got an onion here. I've got some carrots. Now, the recipe calls for two carrots. Uh, I found this at the, the store the other day. It's called Rainbow Carrots. It's really, really nice. You see there's three different types of carrots here, different colors, and quite beautiful. So we're going to use those today. I'm going to first start just getting my onion diced up and in the pot. We'll get this going first. I've got a nice sweet onion here. You can usually tell the sweet onion has more of a uh, oblong shape, for a lack of a better, a better word. It's not quite as round as the typical Spanish onions that we see that uh, we use. These are sweet onions, sweet Vidalia, sweet Texas onion. There's many different types of these sweet onions. Okay, I'm going to get this diced up and in our pan. We have the pan heating up. Let's bring it over here. And we'll get a quick dice going here for our onion. And get that going in the pot. I love this recipe because it's a really delicious soup that you get. It incorporates so many great nutritious vegetables in it. Of course, sweet potatoes are a great vegetable. It provides, of course, some carbohydrate, but it's one of those carbohydrates. It's a little more complex. You get a little more out of it than the typical just a white potato, although white potatoes are also very good. The sweet potato has lots of fiber in it. And when someone is on a, a, a veg vegetarian diet or any diet, really fiber is extremely important especially as we age and getting enough fiber in the diet. So that's one of the great advantages of, uh, of a plant-based diet because a lot of these things are full of fiber. Okay, so we've got our onions started in the pot. And I'm just going to cut these carrots up. These are peeled already, so it really cuts down on your prep time. But we're going to just make some cuts here, make these in a nice bite-sized pieces to go in our soup. He's gone. And of course, you know, carrots are always great for the eyes. And it's always known to be that very nutritious. We'll add our carrots into the pot. Of course, we've got an onion in there. Onions are great anti-inflammatory. Uh, properties that they have and just a delicious, also delicious flavor. So that's the beauty of all these things. These things are delicious. Okay, so we've got our carrots in there. We've got our onions in there. Let's put our sweet potatoes in. It's a pretty simple recipe here. We get everything going. We'll just let that sit a little bit. I want to show you this. Now, the recipe calls for fresh ginger. One of the things that I run into is making sure that I have it fresh on hand all the time. So, you know, I decided to start to try this. This is a fresh ginger paste. So this is really equivalent to fresh ginger, and it comes in this tube, which is really handy. So I'm going to put my ginger in. And what I'll do is just squeeze that in there. That looks great. Okay. So we've got our ginger, our sweet potatoes, our onions, and our carrots in there. You can see kind of what that looks like inside the pot. And I've got my seasonings here, garlic powder, cumin, chili powder, and paprika. We're going to put that in. Okay. And we've got a half a cup of red lentils here. We're going to throw those in there. Okay, so we've got all of our ingredients in 
the pot now with the exception of our salt and pepper and our stock. Now, this recipe calls for a vegetable stock, which we have right here. Four cups, which is the typical size of one of these boxes that you get at the store. Of course, you can always use bouillon. And, you know, I mean, if you're not a strict vegetarian, you can always use a chicken broth or some other broth for this as well. Okay, so we're just going to give this a little bit of a stir. Everything is incorporated in here now. And we'll put our broth in and then we'll get it on the stove to cook. We basically bring it up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, cover it and cook it about 30 minutes. And that's it. Very, very simple recipe and very delicious. OK, we've got our broth in the pot and we'll just get that pot on the stove and we'll cook away here bring it up to a boil we'll turn it down to a simmer and we'll cook it and then we'll be right back and we're going to taste the soup we're going to set it up we're going to present it i'll show you that and we'll give it a taste and see what we have so we'll be back here in a minute with our finished soup we're going to just let it cook now okay so here we are back with our soup our soup is all cooked. We've been cooking it, simmering it for about 30 minutes, and it's all ready to go. And it looks wonderful. All these great ingredients, sweet potato, carrots, and the lentils thick in it just a little bit, and the onion and the ginger. And it's really, really nice. And you see it's nice and hot, ready to go. I'm going to take a little taste, check for salt. Perfect. Came out great. Okay, so now as I said, you know, this is purely vegetarian. There isn't anything in here that it's all plant-based, including the stock we used, which is a vegetable broth. Okay, so we're going to plate it up. i got a bowl here and give it a try. This is extremely nutritious, very aromatic. I wish you could smell this. It smells so wonderful. Got all those great ingredients in it. Lots of great nutrition. Spoon a little more in there. Okay. Looks great. Put that aside and we'll save that for later. Okay. So we've got our soup plated up here and it looks great. And I'm going to put a little, a little fresh parsley just to give it a little, dress it up a little bit. Now we can serve it like this. If someone is a vegetarian but they eat uh, dairy products, I have a little bit of Greek yogurt here that I like on it. Put a little dollop of that right in the center. And we have an absolutely beautiful looking bowl of soup. Really, really nice. I'm going to give it a taste now. We have all of our great ingredients in there. Give it a taste. Get a little bit of this, a little bit of that, one of the spoon. Mm. That is so outstanding. You, know, you have the sweet potato, which is kind of falling apart a little bit and thickening it. Then you have the red lentils thickening it. The great flavor and sweetness of those vegetables, the carrots and the onions and the ginger gives it a very nice flavor and the spices. Very hearty bowl of soup. Really delicious. Great for this time of the year, the fall coming on, starting to get a little bit cooler. Really a nice, really a nice dish. This makes a great lunch on its own. Maybe a piece of bread to be served with some cheese to be served uh, as a first course, you make a nice snack. It's a great thing to have one hand. This recipe makes about four nice servings, so you can put it away, keep it, pull it out, just heat it up. One, two, three, very simple. It's a great soup. I definitely suggest that you try it. 
And, you know, feel free to try anything at all because these combinations, are, you know, it's amazing what you can put together and how they work together and how they combine the flavors and, of course, the great nutrition, which is really one of the most important things. If someone is a vegetarian, make sure that they get enough protein. The beauty of this soup is that it has the red lentils in it. And if I use some Greek yogurt with it, then I've got quite a bit of protein going on here to complement the rest of the day's eating. So this is a great, great soup to put in your rotation. Give it a try. I know you'll like it. This, as I said, is in the Care Kitchen Cookbook. You know, this program is a real pleasure for me to do for you, sharing some information about ingredients, these recipes, being inventive and creative in the kitchen, because this is where you really have a chance <clears throat> to kind of create and have some fun. And when you involve someone else in it, that makes it social. So if you're caring for someone, get them involved. You know, if you're if it's a family member, have some fun, be creative, come up with some ideas. I'd love to hear what you're doing. Please feel free to comment. Tell me what you're doing. Give me an idea of how you do vegetarian cooking so it can help everyone else who's watching and inform all of us. And that's what it's all about. We share this information <clears throat> with you. I hope you'll share with me. So they're going to create this great caring community, care kitchen, where the main ingredient is kindness. And that is where we, that's a great place to end today. Care kitchen, cooking with kindness. It's a great pleasure for me to be here with you. I really appreciate you spending time with me. And I'll see you next time. I'm here every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern. And I uh, hope you'll try some of the great cooking. And please visit the YouTube channel. That's Comfort Care at Your Side YouTube channel uh, for some of the past episodes, various recipes, ingredients that we've worked with. And again, thanks for joining me today. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Have some fun cooking with kindness. Thanks.